Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Novaritas. Now, when we left off, I was still sick. I am, I, I'm, I'm still sick, but obviously just getting better as time goes on. And we are now here at Rivercheg, and I'm ready to try our luck at becoming a master blacksmith. So, I have been attempting this a couple of times. 17% chance, as you can see here. Pretty good in comparison to the 10. Now, let's see if I'm able to do this in the first few tries. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? No. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want it. <sighs> Thank you very much. I don't want an explanation. Thank you. Okay, come on. <sighs> I really, really want that prestige. That prestige from becoming a master of something is very, very good. Of course, we could rebuild the aqueduct. We can do other things like purchasing land and, well, property and things like that. But obviously, right now, I don't have the opportunity to do that. Oh, there we go. I think we did it. Yes. Okay, we got a masterpiece tool. Apparently, we did not get any prestige for this, which is kind of disappointing. But I suppose it does give me the opportunity to sell this tool for 575, which is pretty good, I gotta say, I guess. And, well, yeah, I actually don't need to buy bread anymore, by the way, because I have stopped production of my bakery in Wercheg, and instead I'm just gonna go there every so often and gain a bunch of bread, and that will have then help us out. So the only thing I need to buy is water. And, yeah, hopefully we'll get a business later on that will actually be able to deal with that as well. So, without further ado, am I going to try and build a blacksmith? Well, that's the thing. I don't actually have that much money. So, I might need to do a tournament or something. But, let's just have a look and see how much it is. To make tools from steel. Okay, so how much? 8,000. Oh my. Well, that's, that's a lot. Well, it's actually not a lot. It's actually kind of easy to get that, but unfortunately I don't have the means to be able to do that just yet. But at least I don't have to go there every single day now to get that going. And I suppose the only thing that is left to do is actually fight a bunch. And oh yes, also, I do need to do this bandit lair quest. So we're going to try and find the bandit lair for our liege lord Olaf, because I don't really want to annoy him. And there's the Sea Raider landing in question. Now, I'm going to try and take our best units. So, I believe the Warriors are the best. And then the Axemen. And then the Berserkers and then everyone else. So, that's perfectly fine. We have 3,500. I have a full stockpile in the bakery right now. Full of flour. And they are creating bread as time goes on. And I have a full chest of flour too at our farm and also two full fields of wheat so we're pretty fine on that front and we're now going to attack the hideout and we're going to see if we can take these guys out and well just make it so that Lord Olaf likes us a little bit more because I have a feeling that when I finish the castle which isn't actually going to take that long at all if I if I do say so myself, because once we are able to get the blacksmith going, we'll be able to build tools of our own, and as a result, we'll actually be able to have a way to, well, basically donate tools to the castle, and we won't have to buy them. So, that, that would be kind of nice. Obviously, I don't know how you quite make the tools. The raw materials, I mean, it says from steel, but... I haven't actually seen steel that much in the game, unless I'm thinking of something else. I know iron is in the game, but not steel as far as I'm aware, so I guess we're just going to have to find that out as time goes on, but am I really not hitting this guy? I have no idea what's going on with that. Okay. There we are. Yes, take that sea pirate. You're wearing robes. I'm surprised that you weren't killed beforehand, because they don't offer very much protection, do they? No, not at all. Okay, so we can take out this guy. Ooh, he's he's looking pretty he's looking pretty menacing. Come on, yep, block it. There we are. Oh yes, and there's level eleven for Diggory Dagnabbit. Oh yes. That's what I like to see. Okay, so the sword that we have here, yes. Harlaus the second sword is not particularly damaging, but obviously my proficiency in two-handed is pretty awful. And we're gonna need to raise that up because apparently proficiencies do have and 
make an impact on the amount of damage you're able to do because in other mods and native proficiency basically is just how accurate you are and how fast you swing the weapon as far as I'm aware because power strike is the reason why you deal additional damage so that's good to know that is good to know and that's probably the reason why we were having such wildly fluctuating attacks with our lance in the tournament so that's also good to know because now I'm I'm kind of like oh yes let's do a tournament to get our polearm skill up yes sounds like a good plan oh no I haven't actually been damaged once in this entire attack, so I, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. Obviously, they are wielding some very very slow weapons, and that's probably the main reason why that is happening. Also, we do have some very good units alongside us, so there we go. We actually wow, really? We we get a mask like that? Okay, and we actually do get a better. Uh, y yeah, I don't really want to use this. You know why? Because it's dirty. It's literally got dirt on it, and I don't really, I don't really like that, but okay, well. That's just how it's going to have to be, but we did get a mask, which is actually kind of nice, because we can sell that for a huge amount. I'm looking forward to that, so let's just sell that. There we go, thank you. Okay, so we have now completed the quest, and where is Lord Olaf? Well, I saw him just... A couple of minutes before I started recording, so maybe he'll still be around here somewhere. But, yes. Oh. Oh, there's going to be a tournament held in Tolga. Which is all the way down there. Well, I suppose I could go down there, but... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure whether it would be worth the time. It might, because getting that much money is really, really worth it. But, obviously, we do have to win, and it takes quite a bit of time to actually win, so... Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, I think without further ado, I'm going to cut away here. I'm going to try and find... Oh, no. Are they going in for a feast? Oh, there he is. There he is right now. Get him. Yes. There we are. Okay, so 1,500 florins, a nice amount of money, three renown, which isn't great, but obviously that's okay. And now, do you have any more tasks? The populace there has grown... Duh, duh, duh. Oh, taxes. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll collect taxes from River Check. It's right by the side of us here, and they're not going to like us very much, but I'm not going to be doing anything here anyway, and we can always raise that up by buying people drinks in the tavern, so maybe we should just go and do that immediately. Let's do that. Hello, tavern keeper. I'd like to buy everyone in here a drink. There we go. And that was a thousand. Ouch. That was a thousand. Hello, Lorena. Lorena, hello there. Okay. What's the occasion? Why, I managed to sell my wagon and pots, lad, for once I've got money to spend and I intend to make the best of it. For 30 years I followed the armies of this land, selling them victuals and drink, watching their games of dice and finding them girls, and nary a florin was left in my purse at the end. It's no kind of life. Victualing the armies, you earn a bit here and there as the soldiers spend their money, and then along comes one defeat and you have to start over, indebting yourself to buy a new wagon and new oxen. So I've decided to get out of the business, but army life is all I know. Oh, okay, well, let's see. Oh, yes, one had his head split by a curged war club, the other died of the pox, but at least they didn't die hungry. Oh, wow, okay, well, yeah, why not? You're hired, 805 florins, okay, why not? <laughs> I haven't had a companion yet because they've all been too expensive, the ones that I found beforehand. So it's kind of nice that we actually did gain one that quickly. And we do have a pretty high trade skill as well, so this is only going to take three days. Alright, so this is a message that I am unfamiliar with because obviously I haven't played Nova Eaters before and no other mod has had anything like this in it previously. So, as you see here, a faction advances in their technology and the Saranids are the first ones to reach stage 2. And hilariously enough, I was actually wanting with a new native quote-unquote series, anything that took place in Calradia, that, yeah, that is, I actually wanted to be part of the Saranids, but with Nova Eaters, obviously, that, that didn't happen. But anyway, they've advanced to stage two, and that means they're going to have better weapons and, I would assume, better armor and stuff like that, so I'm not too happy about that, but I don't know how much difference that actually makes. I know one of you actually did say in a comment that the technology stages are very important, 
but hopefully we'll see our people advance as well. But one of you also said that our faction right now, the one that we're mostly working with, doesn't advance. But maybe that's just a bit of a bug or a display bug or something along those lines. But hopefully that will not be the case. So there we go. We did collect 5,856 florins in taxes. And we're now going to be taking it back to him. Obviously, I can't go into the feast, which is kind of sad. And we have minus one relation, so I think it will probably be a couple of days and then we can buy another few drinks for people in Rivercheg. Ah, here we go. Oh, there's actually a tournament going on here too. I'd like to do that, but I'll probably do that off screen. Wait, where is Olaf? He's not coming out yet. Where are you? Should I, should I just join the tournament and bet with his money? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So, let's see. Okay, so... Change tournament options. So, let's see. What about two or five? No, that that's apparently the best. Wait, no. Wait, where is it? Three members of three. There it is. Okay, so 1,700. I mean, that's, that's basically the best payout that you're going to get, isn't it? So, I guess we'll just do that. I'm going to show maybe one or two rounds here. I'm going to complete the tournament off screen, however, because obviously we've seen two of these beforehand, so not really necessary to do another one, but anyway, hopefully we'll be getting a good amount of cash here, and I might be able to purchase our next property from it, which would actually be really good. So, let's see if we can win win the day. Yes. Can we? Because the red team, or, or whoever these people are, oh no, really? Did I really just have that happen? Well, I did eliminate one of them, at least. There we are. Okay, so... Victory for the blue team, and uh, oh yes, well, that's that's always unfortunate. I really want to get those experience rewards. It's hard enough to level up as it is because Diggory is not the best at killing things. And wow, that was a really nice damaging shot to our horse as well, wasn't it? Whoa, that guy's got a lance. There we are. Oh, Lorena, <laughs> Lorena was joining in the tournament. I'm terribly sorry. Oh no, that's not too good. Okay, I am probably dead now. Aren't I? Yes. Probably dead now. Okay, come on. Okay, what, what, what can I do here? Can I use it like this? Ah. Oh, I can get on this guy's horse. Yes. There we go. Yes, that's what we like to see. Okay, so who do I need to target? Well, I'm green, so I need to kill the reds and the blues. Okay. Okay, let's do this, archer. I am ready for you. Yes, and apparently we're not ready for me. Yeah, not at all. Okay. Let's go for the red fellow. There we go. He has a lance. The other one doesn't. And we'll take out the last one and end up being the best fighter. Oh, King Olaf. King Olaf himself is in the tournament. Oh, he's not going to be very happy. We actually leveled up, I believe. Did we level up? I think so. Well, anyway, I'm going to cut away now and I'll participate in the remaining little bits of the tournament and I'll see you after that. Alright, so there we have it. We have finished the tournament once again and King Olaf did uh, some pretty good damage in this one. So let's take a look at the standings here. As you can see, I have 39 points. Easily won this. No problem at all. So let's finish, see what we get. Oh, we get a fine turquoise. Okay. And the guy below us actually did get a pretty nice helmet. And in third place, the prize is a mining pickaxe. I'm sure he's very happy with that, isn't he? Yeah, very happy. So 2,800 florins. Very nice. 40 renown. Hmm, not bad. So, what can we do now? Well, we can sell this fine turquoise here. And I can sell this mask as well. Gain a little bit of extra cash that way. And, yeah, going to sell the rest of these things too. There we go. Yes, I can sell that. Oh, no, I, I, I'm actually not going to sell that. I'm actually not going to sell that because you never know. I might actually be able to give Lorena some extra stuff. So let's just keep some of these things because you never know. She might actually use something there. So that's that's kind of nice. Okay, so that's good. And we gained another little bit of that. So how much do we have now? We have 22,000. Okay, I think it's about time that we go and manage some property. We're going to be... Buying. Oh, I can't buy another mansion. It's 24,000. Ah, 
That is so sad. Oh, that is that is very sad. Okay, well, I suppose there's not much more I can do. I have leveled up, of course, so I guess I'm going to level up some strength, get some more in iron flesh just to make it so that we're a little bit harder to kill, I guess. I don't really know what else to go for otherwise. Wait, let's actually just look at this a little bit better here. I haven't ever taken prisoners, so that's kind of pointless, having an additional point in that. I could go for some more surgery skill. What does Lorena even have? Let's have a look here. It looks like she has nothing. It looks like she has nothing. She has trade skill. Inventory management is insane. And that's basically it. So she's a trader. That's that's what she does. Even though we have three in trade already. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess we'll go for two points in that. And then another in power draw. So power strike and power draw. That should be fine. We do need to get another point in weapon master as well. So I need to get that next level. Anyway, I think that is going to be it for this episode. We're going to be buying the mansion. I'll probably buy the mansion off screen because I'll probably get enough money just from next week's wages. And I'm just going to try and build up our real estate empire. Going to probably try to go to the forest as well and get some more timber for the castle of Dagnabbit. Oh yes. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.